Hey guys, uh, so today we're taking a look at the PB278 from ASUS. This is a 27 inch 1440p IPS 100% sRGB accurate monitor. Um, it's got full height, swivel, tilt, and like you can turn it to vertical. So I guess that is tilt, I guess. No, wait. Tilt is this. It has all the adjustments, that's what matters. Um, it has DVI, display port, um, HDMI, and VGA. If you're gonna use VGA on a 1440p monitor, I don't even think it supports 1440p, does it? Maybe it does, I don't know. Um, but for me, I love it. I've been using it, I've been using my monitor mainly for gaming and for video editing, as you can tell, because I have a YouTube channel. Um, but I've noticed a difference, a huge difference, coming from a 23 inch 1080p TN monitor that I found, believe it or not, in a dumpster. Mom, look! I literally found the monitor in a dumpster. Uh, Cause I was building my PC and I needed a monitor and I didn't have one, I didn't have a budget for one. So I'm like, here's what I found in the dumpster. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use it. Anyway, finally, I got this monitor and I'm loving it. I've been using it since Christmas. Um, like I said, for video editing and for gaming, and you notice a huge difference, uh, for, especially for gaming, uh, like in terms of what I play, like in Grand Theft Auto and stuff, you can really tell, like, I, I was missing so much in the monitor. Like, the colors are there, they're rich, they're nice, the side of my face is overexposed, I think, because of the sun. I think it is. Yeah, I think my, my face is probably overexposed. That's better, alright? Sorry if a little bit of it was messed up. Um, but I've noticed a huge difference in terms of when you're sitting there, the monitor fills most of your vision. I'm like, I sit like about an arm's length away from my monitor, it fills most of my vision, and I can just, I'm more immersed in the game, I can lose myself in the game almost. Does that sound weird? Lose yourself in the game. I don't get lost in the game. I, in terms of like, I just, the game is everything, like it becomes, it's just like you're, oh, oh. What am I doing? Anyway, um, and, and video editing, you know, it's also a huge difference because it's color accurate. You can actually color correct properly. You can do prop. Well, you don't need a hundred percent accurate monitor to color correct, but it's a lot better color correcting with an accurate monitor. Um, also, it gives you more space for your timeline and your media picker and your uh, your preview windows and stuff. It gives you more space on screen with a higher resolution um, to work on all that. Before, like on a 1080p monitor, you can edit on a 1080p monitor, but it's nicer on a higher resolution monitor. You get more space. Um, it's got it doesn't have super thick bezels, but they're not super thin. Um, but for the price, I can't complain. Um, also, it, it's it's the screen is a matte finish, so it's not glossy. It's not super matte, so it doesn't like affect the image or anything like that. Uh, there are more matte screens, but it's not glossy by any means. Um, and what's nice is the bezels and the whole thing. Nothing is glossy on here at all, except for the Asus logo, which is shiny, but that's okay. Um, so you're not going to get fingerprints all over it, although I don't know why you'd be touching your monitor that much, I guess. Maybe you're adjusting it, but I think once you have it, I don't know why you touch it so much. Um, the, it has a few buttons on the side uh, for the on-screen display navigation and a power button that grows grows yep the button grows it glows blue uh, when the monitor is on and when the monitor is in standby it glows like an orangish yellow color um, it's nice because it's diffused so it's not like a super bright light that's shining all the time it's just like a nice glow um, overall uh, since I've been using this monitor I love it it's it's I would totally recommend it to anybody in the budget for a in the market for a budget 1440p monitor. Uh, there are cheaper 1440p monitors, but this seemed like the best one. Uh, I didn't want to like, I didn't want to use a 25 inch 1440p monitor because I think that'd be too small um, in terms of like everything on screen is really small when you have a high resolution monitor. So then having a smaller monitor because everything to be smaller, whatever. I'm going on a tangent. Why? I'll have a link. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy this monitor on Amazon. And I got it on Newegg. I think it's a little bit more on Newegg, um, but they were out of stock on Amazon, so I bought it on Newegg. Because I wanted it by Christmas. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to like. If you didn't like it, dislike, and then tell me why. I'd like to know why you didn't like it so I know what to change in the future. Uh, and then if you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm out. What do I, how am I gonna leave? I guess, oh!
Just for a little bit of a note here, this is my old monitor. This is the new monitor. It's a big difference. Mom, look! Ew, I got like garbage can gunk on the monitor. Ugh. Not to mention the yogurt they got on the bottom of it right there. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm going back inside. <laughs>